Hello everyone and welcome to Firdaus Moroccan Cuisine. Today you're going to be learning with me how to make Moroccan tagine. So for the ingredients I have about half a kilo of beef marinated in ground ginger, black pepper, some turmeric and salt half an hour before I started cooking. Uh, this way the meat will have a flavor. I also have about two zucchinis, four potatoes and then about four carrots. I also have one sliced tomato, cut circles. I have about one cup of green peas. I have frozen or you can have them fresh. I have one cup of uh, chopped onions, one onion, one large onion or two small onions. I have a little bit of cilantro and celery cut together. And for spices, I have ground ginger, I have black pepper, salt, and turmeric, and some olive oil. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have here my clay tagine. If you don't have it, then you have cast iron uh, pot. You can use that as well. What I do, I spray it with palm spray. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put about two or three tablespoons of olive oil first. And then I'm going to put the onions. And then I'm going to put my meat. One important thing I would like to mention is when you're cooking in a tagine made out of clay, it's important to add the support to reduce the, the effect of the heat on the tagine. So here I have a heavy metal uh, flat pan that I put underneath uh, between the tagine and the stove. And that way it doesn't stick and it lasts longer. So here my meat and the onions are uh, softened and uh, the meat is brown. So with the chicken, I usually put everything at once. I don't fry the onions uh, nor the meat, but because it's beef and it takes longer to, uh, longer to cook, so I put it first and I leave it like that for half an hour before I add on, I add on my vegetables. So after half an hour of my meat being cooked there, I'm just gonna take my vegetables. And I'm going to put the carrot, potato, as well as zucchini. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Black pepper. And a little bit of saffron water and I just mix it up like this so here what I will do after I add some salt and pepper to my vegetables and some saffron water I'm gonna take some of that sauce the onion sauce where the meat was uh, cooked for half an hour and I add few tablespoons there just to give the flavor of the meat and the spices to the vegetables then I mix it up and I place it on top of the meat. So here I'm going to do the same thing to my green peas. I add salt and pepper to them and a little bit of the tagine sauce. So I mix up everything and I put it on the top. So I start with the carrots, potatoes and zucchini. And then I put the green peas on top. So the last thing I'm going to put is my tomatoes. I will 
add a little bit of salt. And a little bit of black peppers. And black pepper. So after I added my tomatoes, I'm going to add about a glass of water of, uh, that has saffron in it. And that's usually enough for the tagine because the vegetables, once they start to cook, they produce their own water. And uh, less water, the, the tastier it gets. And here I will add some parsley and cilantro on top. And uh, optional, if you want to add some pickled lemon or fresh lemon, you cut few slices on top. Uh, I also sometimes add olives and uh, hot peppers. So here my tagine is starting to boil. So what I do here is just I take the sauce and I start putting it on top of the vegetables, especially the potatoes, so they don't dry out. So I just add the sauce from the from the side to the, on top of the vegetables. So I usually repeat this step of watering the vegetables, especially the potatoes, like once or twice. And uh, of course it takes longer to cook the beef, so your tagine might dry out. So if you, you see that it needs more water, you can add a little bit of water. Here our tagine is ready and it took uh, for beef to cook uh, 2 hours and 15 minutes. And uh, of course with chicken it takes less, so it depends what kind of meat you're using. So I hope you try it. And of course for us Moroccans we love bread <laughs> with our tagines. So the next video I'm hoping to show you how to make Moroccan bread. I hope you all liked today's recipe and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and share my channel with your friends and family. If you have any suggestions, don't forget to put them in the comments below and thank you so much for watching and for supporting me in this beautiful journey. كان بغي كذلك نشكر المتتبعين ديالي الكرام اللي كيهضروا بالعربيه وسمحوا لي بزاف كندير هذا المحتوى بالانجليزيه لانني بغيت الاجانب يتعرفوا على التقاليد ديالنا والاكل ديالنا المغربي فان شاء الله في المستقبل غادي نحاول ندير الترجمه في الفيديوهات ديالي بالعربيه باش كل شيء يفهم وان شاء الله الفائده تعوم على الجميع شكرا مره اخرى على المشاركه وما تنساوش تشتركوا في القناه وفعلوا الجرس باش يوصلكم كل جديد